Hi, I'm Colleen Everett with Blue Water Healthy Living. I'm here at Studio 1219 in Port Huron. We're here to talk to two amazing artists, Mike Henry and Tim Shoemaker. They're just getting ready for their upcoming show. Let's check it out. Hi, Mike. Hey, Hi, it's looking Charlie. great. <laughs> How's it going? Well, it's good. The show's looking wonderful. Thank you. So, I had the privilege of working with Mike before, and I can tell you what a gifted artist he really is. And a great guy. So thank you. You're welcome, uh, Mike. Just tell us about this show that's coming up and sure. your process. And yes, I'm a water media painter, basically uh, or mostly watercolor. But the theme of this show for me is out of the gray. Kind of teamed up with my friend Tim Shoemaker, who does a lot of uh, metal sculpture. So Fantastic. the two of us kind of fit together well. Okay. And instead of having each of us in a separate gallery, we decided to intermingle our work. Well, let's take a look at sure, the Sure, yeah, one of my favorites uh, right here from the 10th Street Bridge. Uh -huh. I love to paint light mm -hmm. um, all different times during the day, but I love mornings especially, mm -hmm. and uh, that's a view of the Yacht Club downtown. I just love the way the light kind of leads in there and just the soft atmospheric effect yeah, that watercolor uh, can, can yeah. give us. Wonderful. Yeah, and this is the most. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> It would have been hilarious for you to be here when we brought this thing upstairs. Oh, it did not fit in the elevator, and oh. it's hard to take through a 36-inch door. So I think we put a few scratches on the framework, but we yeah. had fun. Worth it. And the moose is great. here, so there we go. We made it. Very Let's take a cool. step in here. All right. All right. So this is uh, the theme of our show is out of the gray. Okay. For me, it's it's uh, mixing complementary colors and making grays. This example was used uh, making an using an orange and a blue paint to make the gray. And uh, what I did is I visited Tim Shoemaker's studio and saw this little setup and light was coming in from the door. So I took a little picture, did a sketch, and did a painting of that for Tim. And Tim made my palette and brushes out of metal. <laughs> Very cool. So that's our gift to each other. And this is one of my favorite paintings. Uh, this is Purdy's Fishery across the river from Edison Shores. And I love the old uh, fishing boats and uh, especially early in the morning. And I happened to catch uh, these guys when they were just firing up one of the boats. So there was smoke so going everywhere and a uh, nice atmosphere and watercolor uh, can portray that just beautifully. Yes. Soft edges and, and then over here we have an example of my working process oh. so when i talk about That's out of cool. the gray yes i always uh, start off with a gray watercolor sketch and uh, i'll do a few line sketches with pencil but i like to just do everything with a paintbrush but mm -hmm. what this does our eyes are attracted to a strong contrast dark against light so that's kind of the highlight of my uh, painting but this is kind of a road map for me mm -hmm. tells me where to go and and what to do so I don't get lost. And uh, a lot of times painters, including myself, will lose that when we go to color. We just get so involved with color and we're having so much fun mm -hmm. that we forget about the value and the composition. Mm -hmm. So this kind of reins us in and, yeah. and you still. Can really, you can really see where you've, where you've followed this. Yes, and you know, Beautiful. what's amazing too is when you do these gray sketches, it only takes three values and your eyes will figure that out. That's yeah. a figure sitting on the bench. Yeah, exactly. So. And then behind you here okay. is uh, another one of my oh. favorites. Uh, for the last three or four years, I've gone down to the Yacht Club on 13th Street and they put the boats in in the spring, take them out in the fall, but it's been, you know, gray, cloudy days. So this year was a beautiful sunny day and I'm attracted to all these shadows, especially when the boat's moving across the parking lot to the river. You've got figures everywhere. And, and then how many times do we see a freighter around oh, yes. here? So Love this one freighters. was, yeah, dark right, or park right across the river in the harbor there and a lot of fishermen around. Um, so again, I just love the atmosphere. I love the way watercolor can kind of blend and move mm -hmm. if you allow it. And uh, throw a little seagulls in there and mm -hmm. your eyes put everything together. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, thank you. And this is one of Tim's masterpieces oh, wow. here. This is the Detroit City Detroit skyline. Mm -hmm. He's got a smaller version of that too, but uh, yeah, he does some amazing work. Yeah. 
We'll talk to him in a minute. We, we'll talk to Tim All in right. a minute. Good. So another Good. freighter, atmosphere, uh, fisherman. Uh, same thing. I, I could paint here the rest of my life. And I, <laughs> I feel like I'm young, so I've got a lot of time left. <laughs> right on. But one of the things Tim and I kind of yeah, talked cool. about, yeah, was, uh, Tim, you do a freighter and a bridge, mm -hmm. and I'll do my version of a freighter of a bridge, and we'll hang it together yeah. to see what happens. And we didn't talk about it too much, just the, the subject matter, so you get different viewpoints of a, a metal sculptor and a, and a painter. Yeah, I like how you intermixed your art forms. Right. And this painting here, this is... Uh, oh, I've lived here for 59 years, and huh. about two years ago, I was driving down, I think, um, State Street or whatever it is right there, and noticed this scene on a spring day, mm. and the light was bouncing off the bridge, and uh, you had spring color, and I thought, how did I miss this? How have I been here so long and not see that? It's a beautiful area. It's a beautiful area. Oh, we've got, so we've, beautiful. We've, we have it, we have it good here. Yeah. So, Mike, how long does it take you to Oh, I do all these and you know, I guess ready the, for the, a show. The, the proper answer for that would be I'm 59 years old, so probably 59 years because <laughs> everything that has happened in my life, uh -huh. first of all, I mean, the things that I like, that's yeah. who I am, that's my soul. So, mm -hmm. but I've been painting for 16 years. Okay. Started off as a hobby just to kind of take stress away and, mm -hmm. and kind of a time out thing. And then what I found was it quickly turned into a passion. And I should have been doing this all wow. along. I took 25 years off after high school, and wow. I was just hungry. I would go to the library, pull out books and DVDs, and just mm -hmm. eagerly eat them up. I thought I didn't have an attention span because I couldn't sit and read a book. <laughs> but when I pick up an art book, I can read that book, mm -hmm. and I can understand what I'm reading, and I can go cover to cover, mm -hmm. and it's just truly amazing. Well, it's obviously in your soul. And yes comes yeah. across to us. So. Yeah. Well, let's see, is Tim around? Let's, get, Tim. let's talk to him. Tim is around, All I right. believe, Great. Tim. Let's go. Tim? Check out some of Tim's work. Fabulous. Hi, Tim. Hi. This is How Tim Shoemaker, and uh, we're gonna talk with him about some of his art form, which is so interesting, working Thank with you. the metals. Thank you. Just tell us about your process and how you go about making these works of art. Well, uh, first we have to start with steel. Yeah. So we cut steel and I do a lot of, I cut a lot of new steel and uh, rather than using like a... Let's take a look at it. Rather than using a found object type steel, I use new steel. So I cut it and I okay. grind. I use a, a variety of methods to cut it. I cut with a plasma cutter. I cut with a, a bench shear sometimes with a torch, depending on, depending on how thick the steel is. So... Um, and so I understand you're a welder. Yes, and then, th so, that, so that's they, where the assembly comes in, Yeah. is it's all welded together, and then I use, uh, I grind and make my detail with grinding, mm -hmm. and um, I gr do a lot of grinding and etching. Cool, and these are some, Huge works. That that's you, that's I that's. Love the <laughs> it's not quite my biggest yet. I think that really? might be my second biggest piece. Yeah, I had a bald eagle that had a. Oh, beautiful. So he was pretty big. Well, let's go over and look at some other okay. things you've done. Just tell us about the. So these are these are my military items. Oh. Um, I oh. have some World War II items as well as current military themed items. I like to make that stuff. So. Let's look Thank on the you. other side. Okay. All right. Uh, some of my wildlife. Ah. Have fish flies for the season. Mm -hmm. <laughs> these uh, are these are much prettier than the ones we see outside. <laughs> yeah. So Tim, now how do you do? You go by a photo, or I mean, these are such detailed creations. How how do you do? This? Well, you know, with the. We're in the age of technology now where yes. Google Images is my friend. When I want, ah. when I, just something crosses my mind and I feel like this is a subject that I want to pursue or that I want to make, all I have to do is Google that object and I can find, you know, 500 images of an mm -hmm. elephant or 500, not 500, but maybe 100 image, images mm. of a Messerschmitt 109, you know? So, you know, all I have to do is think of what I want to make and... Yeah. Google is right there to, to give help me you out. to give me my directions. Yeah, that's great. Well, it's they're so detailed and so innovative. 
Well, thank really you. Like thank you. It's so cool. So now, Mike, come on over. Um, tell us one more time the details about the upcoming show, and right. I think there's a reception. Sure, after. there's a reception Friday, July 12th from 6 to 8 here at Studio 1219. The show runs through the end of July, so you have okay. a lot of time to come in and see it. And Tim and I right. both have a public Facebook page. Good. Tell us how we can find you. Mine is the Henry Gallery. Okay. And I am Tim Shoemaker, metal sculptor. Wonderful. Well, thanks guys for giving us this sneak peek of your upcoming show. This is Colleen Everett for Blue Water Healthy Living. See you all right here on July 12th.